Hey guys, this is Abhishek and you're watching Gizmo Ground. So soon after getting my hands on the RK61 keyboard, I realized that I needed to download this software in order to use it to its full potential. So I went ahead and after a little bit of googling, I realized that it was quite difficult considering that a lot of people has faced a lot of problems doing that. Anyhow, I stumbled across this Reddit post where I can't really pinpoint the exact post out but somewhere someone actually posted an email ID stating that uh, that email ID was from someone uh, of Royal Kludge and uh, apparently he, that guy was really helpful. So I emailed that guy instantly and uh, as you can see I emailed him and he actually replied back within a day uh, providing me proper guidance and steps and along with a screenshot so apparently uh, Royal Clutch RK61 keyboards have uh, the RGB versions at least uh, come in three different variants uh, they have three different uh, hardware IDs or PIDs so I needed to download the exact software for my PID the version of PID that I was using for my keyboard so in order to do that I needed to go to run and type in this exact line of text and then go into keyboards and double click on it and go into details and then go to hardware IDs as you can see it says 024F so apparently I needed to download the software that was made for 024F so after opening this link uh, I saw that there were three different RAR files which you needed to extract and I generally recommend extracting it within uh, Google Drive itself considering the fact that you know I had uh, difficulties installing the software itself when I actually downloaded it and then tried to extract it. So I extracted it in inside of Google Drive and then I just downloaded the software like so. Um, I'm not going to download it right now because I already have it downloaded. So jumping over to the software, firstly we can see that we are greeted with uh, the selection of three profiles uh, which you can predefine. and apart from that we have four tabs up top namely customize, lighting, gaming mode and macro. Uh, now in customize you get a full layout of your keyboard and you can actually address individual keys and select different options within them like if you want you can turn it into a combo key or maybe set a macro or maybe forbid it altogether. And now just moving on, now moving on to lighting, this is where it really impresses me. Firstly, you get to cycle through all the 17 different effects at one go over here, uh, as you can see. And if you actually you know, select any one of them, they actually take effect immediately on the keyboard. So you don't even need, need to hit apply or anything. So that's really cool to see. Uh, apart from that, you can actually select uh, the colors from this predefined uh, bunch or maybe come up with something completely different, completely custom of your own. And uh, next we actually have the sliders to control speed and brightness which I'm going to leave at default for now. And also you can actually change the direction of the effects that actually use directions like waves or something along those lines. Uh, next moving on we have gaming mode. Now in gaming mode if you turn it on you can see that you have the option to select all tab, all def 4 or windows key, maybe disable them completely because a lot of gamers seem to do that nowadays. Uh, I don't uh, feel the need to do that so I just keep it turned off. And next, uh, finally coming to macro. Now I've seen a lot of people talk about macros, how to set up macros on this keyboard, but I haven't found a single video on YouTube regarding this. So here it is, the macro layout for this software. Uh, you can actually set up macros using this software. I don't really need macros as of right now, so I haven't set up one yet. But if you want, you can go ahead and do it, as you can see. Uh, moving on, we have the settings panel where we can see we don't have much options. We can actually set the UI color, which I'm going to leave to default. And no matter how many times I set this language to English, it turns back to Chinese. So yeah, that's about it. It's a pretty bare bones software. Nothing too much, nothing too fancy, but it really gets the job done. Very efficient in my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if this video was helpful. And please subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with a full review of this keyboard very very soon. And yeah, thanks for watching.